，大家好，欢迎过来我的 YouTube 平台。今天我会给你们看看我去上课的时候，反正呢，我会带你们看我整个一天去上课、去食堂、去图书馆，就给你们看我学校的周边。好，谢谢关注我，我希望这个视频呢会让你开心。或者让你理解中国的生活。好，谢谢。Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna just give you guys a vlog, a day in my life. Basically, I'm gonna just vlog everything that's gonna happen for throughout my day. And right now I'm getting ready to go to school. Uh, so I have like a lecture at 2 p.m. and right now it's 12 12 p.m. in the afternoon, 12 p.m. So I'll be going to school and then I will have to stop by the school cafeteria. To eat some food and then I will go to inside the school so I'm just gonna give you guys a vlog of day in my life basically as a student yes and if you don't know my name is Rose Schwever and I am a youtuber right I do YouTube I'm also a student I study uh, I'm currently persuading my master program in Southeast University in China that is Nanjing City so yeah welcome to this vlog and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe so that you are always updated when I ever I upload another video so guys enjoy let's get going this is in front of us hostel just walking out Five minutes away from the hostel is the university. And five minutes away, I can also as access the bank and also many convenience stores. Now I'm entering the school cafeteria. So many people eat from the school cafeteria. And you can see that people have no, are not really putting on their mask. Even though the situation of COVID has changed drastically in China, but people are still urged to put on face masks and so forth. In the school cafeteria, there's so many variety of foods, but specifically, these are all Chinese flavored. There is a section where you could get some food made specifically for our Muslims, brothers and sisters. But overall, I mean, I'm in China. They say when you go to Rome, do as the Romans and well, we just get to eat anything that is available in the cafeteria. Cafeteria is one of the very convenient places to get food, especially for students. But not only for students, a lot of people come to cafeteria, even people who live very close to this cafeteria, like within the community, especially those who are like having connections with the university, they can eat from the cafeteria. One meal can be very cheap. And on this day, I scanned a meal that was almost four renminbis. That's, that's not even one US dollar. Because I just got rice and a little bit of vegetables. I mean, to eat from the cafeteria is very, very cheap. And you could not spend so much in one day. Another reason why I like going to the cafeteria is, I mean, I don't have to cook. And I don't have to take care of anything concerning food. Sometimes I can try out some other fancy meals. This you can see shrimps and others. And some other meals that you really just don't know their names. And you can have some nice meals in the cafeteria. It's not only this cheap food that I bought, but there are so many other variety of food that are available. And sometimes you feel like the cafeteria is not so hygienic and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I feel it's a very convenient way for someone to survive as a student. Especially if you are in a rush or you have a lot of schoolwork going on. This is a convenient way to get yourself full at the same time.
kill your books or get done with your assignments and usually we have like student cards where we put money we like recharge the student cards and then we can just swipe the student card in the cafeteria you could buy anything whether it's food or soft drinks or some ice creams and stuff like that now i'm entering the school as i enter in the school i have to always register my name and also i have to get scanned the temperature they have to check the temperature entering this school it's always memorable i've been in this school for almost five years now well let me say more than five years and this place has been so many fond memories and what i like about this school is there are so many trees and every season the trees changes according to the season and that just reminds you how time is passing by even though you are really not sure where the time is going and then i'm entering in the school library school library is one of the soothing and quiet places that you can be i mean sometimes you can enter the, the school library just to sit to get some quiet peaceful place there are so many books of some prominent people in china historical social scientific you name it and sitting down in the school library does not always mean you are studying possibly you could be writing a story in your book or in your notebook it could be you just scrolling on internet but the fact that you are in the library just bring you a certain of certain level of peace and that is amazing and i was just celebrating at an email that i received in my inbox and then i had to chill down i had to calm myself down the school library is one place that in a long time i have not really valued enough especially at the time when the pandemic started that we're locked down and we're not given the opportunity to be in the school library after the school library i had to go to class these are all my classmates i'm sure some of them as they enter they're like oh no another day in class myself i was definitely complaining i'm like i wish this class was already over sitting down sometimes it feel lonely because i'm the only foreign student in my class but that doesn't really break my heart because i still get to chat with my classmates not all the time but occasionally Sometimes I sit there and I've said okay why am I still studying Those are the questions that run through my mind as I listen to my teacher who speak Chinese and sometimes I really don't understand Let's say I get to understand like 40% of what he's saying and then I get started I get inspired get excited and start thinking of oh my god I could actually use this concept to solve a certain problem in Africa yeah but do we always get to all those dreams I mean you know some dreams are deferred. But class time is class time you have to listen. I can't lie to you how many times I've disturbed my classmates asking for pens because I don't carry my own pen to pen to class. But this day she didn't have a pen to get to share with me. I was asking everyone. And honestly I was just asking for a pen so that I can write something down in my notebook. and they i'm wondering in my mind wondering okay when is this class going to be over there goes my teacher who is teaching us and you can listen to him speaking chinese And when the teacher finished speaking, everyone is excited to go and play. Well, my Chinese friends would actually ask me, "Do you want to go and play with me?" And I would say, "Yes, let's go and play together." And I've seen these children; they are just so cute, and I just wanted to snap them. So after school I decided let me go out and do a little bit of shopping for my monthly cos- cosmetics. Walking into the mall I ran into this old lady who is playing the piano just in the mall. 
well, this is a public, I believe this is a public uh, service uh, piano for anyone who would like to play. And then I met this old grandmother with, with his, with her grandson. I believe she's taking the child to a day after school class. And there I go shopping in Miniso. Miniso has always been that place where you can go and find so many cute little things from hairbands to tables to some air freshening scented oils or something like that to some cute little not little that's a very big mug they are so cute I wished I would take one but I know taking one means most likely just me going to place it somewhere and have it not being used for a while so I was just appreciating and enjoying different designs of mugs well it's summer now in China so this was going to come in handy just to put in something cold and sip it from it like sitting down on a sandy beach somewhere in Brazil right and then I was appreciating these little cute I mean they are, I like saying little cute they are not so little but so many different fluffy teddy bears I believe and I just that was just relaxing and then I got my cosmetics I had to get some cosmetics mouthwash they're pretty very very cheap Miniso is one of the very cheap uh, I would say like kind of a drugstore well if you don't know Miniso you should find out I'm sure you're aware of what is Miniso so I just got from mouthwash toothpaste body wash little scented uh, perfumes and yeah cheap but still very convenient this shower gel or shower body wash was about 15 renminbis well they are very very cheap but the problem with them is they are kind of scented and i realized i don't like scented body wash and i also got some wipes wet wipes and this is a little perfume that I also got that was like 10 renminbi and I just got them after Miniso I ran into an ice cream shop that they had so many flavored frozen ice cream I was just checking them out maybe one day I can come and do a sit down video of me eat trying different Chinese ice creams trust me these are so many flavored ice creams well they could be like frozen ice lollies or frozen ice creams or something like that but it's meant it's intentionally made for summer because now when it gets very hot people get to drink and take so many cold things in and this is a bean bean flavored ice cream and i'm just like what maybe i could try out eating some bean peas and beans and corn flavored ice cream can you believe that but everything is made from china they say thank you so much for watching until my next video, stay humble, stay positive. And